Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play AC Milan in Football Manager 2018. And since last episode, we kind of been struggling. First, we lost at home versus Torino. Then we managed to beat Kievo. Then we only got a draw at home versus Sassuolo. We actually been struggling a lot at home. And I mean, Torino and Sassuolo, let's take a look at the league table here. You can see that, I mean, in the middle of the table and in the middle of the table. So these are teams we definitely should be beating at home if we want to compete for the top of the table. Well, that brings us to this situation because Napoli has overtaken us since uh, we've only taken four points in our last three games. But the interesting thing is though, it's Juve. Take a look at this. I mean, they've been playing the Champions League and so on, so of course they're going to have a few more tight legs, but they lost versus uh, Inter. They only got a draw versus Bologna, and then they lost again versus Atalanta. And that means even though we've been playing like garbage and have been overtaken the league table by Napoli, we're still just one point behind you, which is closer than we were, we were before all of this. So... We are in a really, really interesting situation right now because, uh, I mean, imagine if we would have been playing the way we should because we should have won this game. We should have won this game. If that would have happened, we would be topping the league and we would actually have had a few points safety margin. But now still, even with those crappy results, we are very much in it. But today we're up against Lazio and uh, we are playing them away. And uh, we need to get a good result here. So you can see Lazio is just behind the spots in Europe. So they're going to be hugely motivated here trying to, to get into uh, to the Euro spots um, before the season ends. And uh, yeah, that's basically the situation we are in right now. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five games left of the season. And three out of those five games is away games, which is very unfortunate. As you know, we have the Napoli game coming up, uh, which is going to be huge. But for anything to even be interesting uh, when that happens, we need to start here by beating Lazio. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get it to the actual game here. Oh, that was a pretty good result here. Quite a few of them is uh, motivated. Yes, yeah, the way I like it. Uh, I think we are the only ones that are playing right now. Yeah, we are. But we are about to get into to that part of the season where it could be really interesting to keep uh, keep track on uh, on the scores and under games if uh, if they are playing at the same time. For example, Juve or oh my God, their goalie he saved it and he went from his hand to the post and then back to him again. That goalie was really, really lucky. But you know what they say, the posts are a goalkeeper's best friend. And unfortunately, that seemed to be true today for, for Lazio. Come on, Rodriguez, nothing stupid here. Donnarumma, what's up, you guys? I don't like it when our defenders is passing it around like this. It makes me nervous. On Ventura, and he finds Silva. Silva is kind of lonely, though, and it's a very weak and optimistic pass by Silva. And take a look at it. Please take a yellow card. Why? Didn't you? I really don't like it that my players are so nice. I said it before, but in situations like that one, they really need to just like pick up a, a, a card and give them a free kick instead of giving them the chance being alone with uh, with Donnarumma. I don't like it. But looking at this, we are completely dominating things, creating so many more chances than them, but. Uh, we yet to see it in, in the replays. We only had that that really good try that their goalie managed to tip into... To... Oh, and there it is! Locatelli, our young, deep-lying playmaker, with an assist by Rodriguez. Rodriguez took the corner. Let's take a look here to replay the corner. And I think it's a volley, and it bounces off somebody. I think it was a defender. I don't care. It's a goal. It was exactly what we needed. And look at this, eight shots to two. We are completely, we are dominating it so big. 
But a one goal lead in half time is nothing. It can really change for the blink of an eye. The Glass need to know, they need to step it up in the second one. They create a lot of chances, but looking at this rating, it's like 6.4, a bunch of 6.7, 6.8. That's definitely not good enough. We need to improve here. We need to step it up in the second one, or if we don't. Especially, I mean, we are creating chances, but we need to, to get some quality in it. Great sense deception there by Bonucci. Berard has been quite error prone today. Oh my god, 6.0 rating. Yeah, I think, um, I think you're done, Berardi. You need to go. We can't have it like that. He's been pretty good for us during the last few games. Uh, I mean, we've been struggling, but Berardi has really been performing. Getting some really, really good ratings in, but today is clearly not his day, so I think it's the right option to remove him. So also with a free kick, and just outside the post. So we are still creating stuff. Let's see, anybody else that has a bad day at work? Maybe Bonventura, but let's see who's tired instead. Bigler is almost dying, so I think this could be the right timing to bring in Fellaini. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting because it's kind of weird that we've been struggling a lot and I thought like well, I was going to to look at the league table I thought like okay now you will really need to pull ahead of us and then I saw that if we're just one point ahead of us even though we've been struggling that was some crazy good news here and then of course we have Napoli at home in the second to last game of the season and that should be to um a slight advantage for us. I mean, of course, it's not going to be easy, but we are playing at home, and that, that needs to be our to our advantage. And if we can take three points against them, that probably should secure us uh, getting ahead of them in the league table. But you never know, because, uh, I mean, there are five games left, and uh, that's uh, 15 points to play for, and we need to perform. Here's Conte into the box. Here's Silva. And uh, now I can start to feel a bit secure because now we have that two goal lead and Lazio only have uh, 10 minutes to turn things around and uh, that should be the winner. So also here for Locatelli, Locatelli one touch pass for Conte, Conte down to the right flank into middle and Silva makes no mistake. And I think, yeah, let's go for our last sub here. Quite a few players are playing really, really well. But I'm, I think I'm going to go with Kessie as the rest team. Give uh, Barrow some more playing time. We'll always want to play Barrow when he gets the chance because uh, he's such a huge talent for us. But his last year we're throwing. It's, uh, we're about to get into extra time, but it looks like they might create something before that. Intercepted by Barrow though. Sets up Silva. Quite a few of our players are joining the attack. So so into the box. And he finds, look at this, Barrow, and yeah, I, I talked about super subs uh, during last uh, episode, and I think uh, Mr. Barrow was a super sub for us here, and also Soso, Soso was another sub, so one of our subs sets up another one of our subs, and that's how you as a manager can see that um, your substitutions actually have um, a decent effect on on the game but now we're just waiting for the ref to blow, blow the full, full time whistle here and um, yeah that's it so this is a very good result i'm really really pleased with it because i mean lazio away is definitely not a game uh, you could take for granted so this was a really 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 good one um very pre pleased with it And um, let's see, this means, of course, for now, we are topping the league table. But uh, that's with us having played one more game uh, than both uh, Napoli and Juve. And uh, if Napoli win, they will overtake us because they have a better goal difference. Uh, so if they take three points, of course, Juve will be one point ahead of us. Let's see, who are they up to? Um, let's see, Napoli will play... Rosino at home, that's going to probably going to be an easy win for them. We've got to stay down to uh, 
second to last place and they are playing them at home really need to win that one unfortunately then juve has fiorentina at home and fiorentina is having a pretty decent season here but it's still a team that juve should beat at home but you never know we need to pray to the football manager rng gods maybe they can create a, a small miracle for us but i mean as long as we are winning now we keep on putting pressure on them because uh the second they don't win that could be the moment when when we overtake them Let's take a look again at our schedule here. Next game coming up is at home versus Genoa. Should, at least on paper, be an easy win. We are playing them at home and they are down to 16th place. Then we are playing Benvento away and they are basically in the middle of the table. And then that huge game versus Napoli. And then we are going to end the season off uh, away versus uh, Piscara. And um, I think next episode will definitely be the Napoli game. Then depending on the league, how it looks, maybe it's going to be a double episode. Because if it's game over here, if we already know who wins the league, the Napoli game might be the last one. But if uh, we're still in it, we're definitely going to do a double episode with, with both those games. But um, that's for next episode. And next episode, we are ending the season. So you definitely can't miss uh, the next episode because uh, it's going to be a big one. And we have the chance to win the league, and that would be sensational. So, yeah, but enough talking. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next episode.